Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Jude, also known as Vcon. Now, what I've created here is a real-time chat room. And basically all you do is you go and you press T, and you can type whatever you like. Now, in theory, this is supposed to work in real time, so you're supposed to communicate with other Scratch players. I just now posted this, so it only has four views, and I don't think anyone has commented on it yet. But if you have a Scratch account, and if you are a Scratcher, meaning that you've been on the website and participated and are allowed to access with cloud data, then this is fantastic for you, and you can come and test it out with me to see if it works. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description, you can go and check it out. Um, otherwise, the rest of the video is just going to be me telling how it works and whatnot. Okay, if you stuck around, then I guess you'd like to see how everything works. So it's actually really simple. So the main obstacle and what stops most people from creating a chat room is that cloud variables only allow values to be plugged in. Therefore, we can only put in values such as numbers and we can't use characters like uh, which is on a regular keyboard. Anyways, what I've created is a system that works with binary. And what that does is it takes your message, it converts it into binary, and then it converts it back into readable text and displays it along the chat room, as so. So I type something in. As you can see, the message up here is just a bunch of ones and zeros. And it, then it converts it back into readable text and displays it on the chat room. Now why it just, just disappeared, I'll explain that in a minute. So what you do is you press T to talk, and then it joins your name with your message, so people can identify who's talking. And then it has the set variable, which is connected to all this and whatnot. I actually took the code from a binary decoder and encoder that I found on Scratch, and I just stripped that code, and I modified it to where, the, to where I needed it to do and whatnot. And I just plugged it in here, quick and simple. Very easy. If you want, you can go ahead and remix this. Like I said, link in the description. And then I also have it to where it's a despammer or despammer, not a spam detector, but it, you know, gets rid of the clutter. So after 15 seconds, or if there are more than, let me see if I can overwhelm it here. If there are more than 13 columns, it will begin deleting them as seen. Otherwise, every 15 seconds, it will delete a section. Okay, so I think that kind of wraps everything up. I won't go into detail how the decoder and the encoder work, because it's kind of a little extensive, as you can see. But anyway, it just uses tons of variables, uh, a couple function blocks, and it uses maybe uh, about a couple lists. So if you want to, you can go ahead and look into that. Like I said, link in the description. Uh, thanks for watching.